All right, today we're gonna get started on some ration formulation. Exciting times, because we're gonna start building that foundation that we're gonna be working with as we move into our species specific um, modules that are coming up. So we need to have a foundation of how rations are formulated by hand because we are gonna move into spreadsheets and, and those types of things. And so we need to have an understanding of what's happening in the background as we're moving forward on our, our um, ration development and evaluation. And so today we're gonna kind of take and work with um, five basic types of problems. Okay, the first is gonna be what we call a Pearson square. And this is probably one of the easiest methods you can use, especially for two ingredients. Works like a champ, use it all the time actually. And um, it's one that if I just have a couple things I need to balance to one variable, this is my go-to. And especially if you're gonna be an ag teacher and you're working with show animals that you're feeding them a hay and a show grain, this is the best way you can teach your students to balance for protein or energy or something like that. And the Pearson square is pretty straightforward. The next method that we'll work with is simple algebra. And um, we'll start off with two ingredients and literally it's gonna be the X plus Y equals C, which is our feed requirement. And so we're just gonna be figuring out the amounts of unknowns and working with that. Then we're also gonna work with mixes and how do we um, calculate when we have three or more ingredients and what can we do to help manage that? And so creating a mix, um, like many of you guys, if you, I see a lot on the Padlet, have um, equine backgrounds and stuff like that. Sometimes you go buy a cob mix, corn, oats, and barley at a feed store. That's a feed mix, but we need to figure out what the nutrients are in it so that we can have a good estimate of how to use it in formulation. Another one we use for three or more ingredients is fixed ingredients. And that means when they're fixed, they are set to a specific level and there is no changing of it. So we can account for it in our algebra formulas pretty easily by treating stuff as fixed ingredients. The last method that we're gonna work with is called substitution. And this is a common principle, especially in herbivore-based diets. Animals that are grazing or on forages um, substitution is a method that we utilize quite a bit with them. And so those are the basic principles we're going to be working through. We're going to have a few math problems on each and every one of these. Okay, and so make sure you're comfortable and I will have a separate video for each one of these to make sure you're comfortable with how to do them. All right, as we start moving forward, before we even begin the Pearson Square, we need to talk about the basic concepts in ration formulation, okay? And so those basic concepts, there's actually three diets that we work with when we're formulating a ration. And what I mean by that is the first one is actually the ration or the diet that is, I should probably say ration here, three rations that we work with, and the ration that's actually formulated. This is the one that the nutritionist comes up with. It's specified for all these specific ingredients, and it's uh, you know usually on a dry matter basis, those types of things. And so it's what we calculate. We're gonna be doing a lot of this one right here. And the second type ration is once the, the producer takes this ration that's formulated, then we're gonna move into the ration that actually gets mixed. Now, in a perfect world, it would get mixed according exact, exactly how we calculated it. It would be perfect. However, if you've ever mixed feed in any way, stuff gets mixed up. And so, if you're running a front end loader and trying to drop 1,500 pounds of a silage into the feed mixer, Sometimes it's 1400, sometimes it's 1750, sometimes it's, you know, anywhere in between. 
And so it doesn't always translate exactly from what's formulated to what's mixed. But then the last ration that we're going to have to conceptually deal with is the actual ration that the animal eats. Now I saw a couple of you had, like, had an interest in goats and stuff like that. And so if you've ever been an, around an animal that sorts its food into different segments, then you realize that the animal may not exactly eat what you put in front of it. And so as a result, we have um, this beautifully formulated ration that got mixed pretty close to how we want it. And then the animal goes and sorts stuff out. So that's going to change what nutrients the animal is actually receiving because there's going to be error. Whoops, let me get that spelled right associated in each of these steps. And so while in this class we're going to pa uh, practice really precise ration formulation, um, but understanding that we're going to be precise in what we do, but we realize that if we were to give some of these rations to producers, it may not get mixed exactly the same, and then we have to understand that the animal is going to consume elements of it. Our goal as a nutritionist our goal is that each bite an animal takes is a perfect balance of nutrients. However, unfortunately, animals do not, this is a very important concept. Do not read the textbook. Meaning, they don't know what they're supposed to do. And every time I feed a group of animals, something different seems to pop up. It's always changing, always about, um, evolving. Animals have certain feeding behaviors and even like species to species feeding behaviors. But even within a species, an individual animal, one would like something, one doesn't. It's just like people, there's a variety. And so um, we do a lot of things based on precision, but when you're out there practically, and this is part of why I love nutrition, is it's different every day. Animals don't read the textbook or the protocol and understand exactly what they're supposed to do. So you have to adjust on the fly and be able to tweak and adjust and flex to make sure that that bite they're taking is the perfect balance. And so those are kind of the basic concepts that we're going to be working with. Um, the last one is just the concept of what we're doing with the rations. And so um, when we're balancing a ration, our goal is we're going to take some amount of feed A and we're going to blend it with feed B. Okay, and these two feeds together are going to give us our feed C, which is what we offer to the animal. And that should have that perfect bite and all of those things that we need to have. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out some amount of feed A, some amount of feed B that's going to equal feed C. And the challenge with that is, or not the challenge, but the basic principle is previously we have worked with um, the concept of how to figure out how many pounds of nutrient is in a feed. And that equals the amount times the nutrient concentration. If we were to have formulas to know, this is going to be one of them. Um, the second formula to know is, uh, is going to be a percentage. And that is where we take the part over the whole times 100. Okay? So these are our formulas that we will be working with quite a bit in this ration formulation module. Okay? And so if we were to work through an example, say, crude protein, and we have feed A and feed B. And feed A has a certain amount of crude protein. Feed B 
has a different level of protein. But when we figure out what amount of each one we have, together they should, we should find the perfect ratio so that we get a ration that has the just right amount of protein that we're looking for for the animal. Okay, so our task is to figure out this perfect ratio. And that's where we're gonna work through some of these other methods to be able to figure out what that perfect ratio of feed A and feed B, and eventually some other feeds, um, into. But this is basically our formula. Some amount of feed A plus some amount of feed B is gonna make our final ration. So with that, I'm gonna end this video here. And so this was kind of that overview to the basic concepts of ration formulation. And the next video um, that's gonna be helpful is the actual Pearson Square video.